It's 1929, uh, the Wall Street crash has happened when um, the financial markets collapsed and lots of people were wiped out financially, among them uh, friends in the Shelby family. They lose millions in stocks and shares, okay, sort of imaginary money, it's gone. So then they have to go, they're drawn back into the world of real money. They are confronted with a dilemma of how to maintain their status and way of life and obviously they need to revert to cash sources of income. That has sort of precipitated this leap back into the, the criminal world. There's a new dark force in the world and it is fascism. Tommy rubs shoulders with Sir Oswald Mosley. Oswald and Tommy's relationship is kind of the, at the forefront of this series. Uh, Oswald is a man who needs help addressing the common folk, uh, if you will, and uh, Tommy is that man because he is the voice of the people. He sees in Mosley the seeds of another world conflict. Mosley's ideology is going to send them spinning towards World War II. Mosley's muscle is represented by this gang from Glasgow called the Billy Boys, who are this vicious Protestant razor gang. I think in a way they're reminiscent of the Peakies as they were maybe a few years ago, so they're kind of almost uh, an echo from the past or something. Among the many protagonists he's up against, perhaps the most powerful one is himself. Tom has been dealing with what happened to him in the war and then subsequently, for years, really through self-medication. You can see Tommy is getting worse and worse with his post-traumatic stress disorder and following his mental illness. Tommy starts to become a little bit paranoid that other people are trying to steal his crown. Tommy has also become fixated on this idea that the natural order of things is that the old guard passes and the, the new young guns take over. We're almost the new generation of where the family is going to kind of evolve to and the older family members aren't quite ready for that mm -hmm. and we are. I think um, we're kind of new and have new ideas and Tommy doesn't seem to really be into that so yeah it's a bit touch and go. Polly has always been the person that Tommy trusts the most but Michael represents the conflict between them and that's her son. You know, it's massive, like, you know, it's, it's, it's Shakespearean. I think he's someone who people see as doing bad things for a good reason. He's like the dark horse that he rides in on. Um, you don't really know what the next steps are. He is dangerous. He is the guy that's in control. He can lose control at any minute. Stephen's written this complicated character that, uh, you know, has the potential to be really villainous, but also really kind and like loving. He has this control, which we see him constantly uh, teeter towards the brink of losing and always coming back just at the crucial moment. People love him for just being fearless and brave and outrageous, but he's got a good heart. I think people really respond to the fact that it always comes back to being about family because that's what it is all about for the Shelby's, whether they like it or not. I feel incredibly privileged to be part of a show that has incrementally improved season upon season. And in the storytelling, in the production design, in the directing, in the costume design. And I feel like this year we've just gone up to another level. It was a huge joy and pleasure, in fact, an honour to be able to to say that I've redesigned the Garrison Tavern. It was like bringing back an old friend or a family member because the Garrison Tavern was such a mainstay of series one and two. It's their go-to area. We just needed to get the atmosphere right inside. Everything needed to look worn, old and lived in. That was the key to it. We wanted it to look like a pub where you'd want to go down for a drink of an evening. We took the bear, the Warwickshire Yeomanry symbol, which was Tommy's regiment in the army, and we've made that a focal point of our stained glass, which took quite a while to design and get right. It's that huge gift that Steve gives to us, the creatives and the, the 
you know, the producers and the, and the directors to, to bring this to life. I need to watch it. <laughs>